Hello viewers, I finally got a ring booster for the telephone line. This is the Viking RG10A amplifier. Costs about $175, I think, dollars, which is awfully expensive, but it is made in America, so I'm, I can't complain. It works, does what it says it should do. I've got, I think, four mechanical ring phones on the line right now and they all ring fine. So supposedly this outputs 12 rings, so in theory you could put 12 bell ring phones on the line. I don't think I have 12, but I'm gonna definitely one of these days put more on the line and see how many it can handle. I think I have eight bell ring phones, maybe nine. So that should be a better test, but so far it's working fine with the four plus all the other cordless phones. And with this thing alone, I would only get two bell rings before I had problems. So it's definitely doing its job. One thing I do want to do also with this is change the frequency of the ring. Because this is supposed to replicate through the amplification the frequency that it receives on the input side. Which right now is 25 hertz. I found that with using just this, 25 hertz was really one of two or three frequencies that would really give a good ring on the 2554 telephones and I'm not sure if that was due to a limited power on the line or if that's just what they like to ring at. So now that I know there's enough power on the line yeah, that's an oddity that my OBI box keeps doing so now it just seizes the line for some reason I don't quite understand but uh, anyways what I want to do is change the frequency now and see if the 2554 telephones react the same way to different frequencies um, you know because now I know that it's not a power issue but anyways that's all uh, future videos to come when I have time but um so yeah it works good the only thing that I'll say about it which is kind of a bummer is there's no wall mount to it and it's kind of a big device um, let's see here put the mouse there it's uh, it's got a big footprint and so I mean most people probably aren't going to be putting this on their desk but it's uh, you know I would have liked it to be if not smaller at least wall mountable so I could hang it on the wall and get it out of the way um, the other thing I'll say about it which again in most cases probably would not be relevant is the fact that it has a fairly loud clicking sound to it when you pick up the phone not that that's a big deal but when I'm sitting here doing work on the computer and the thing's clicking hmm, I, I'd just rather it not, it's not, not a big deal, I don't really care but given the preference I'd rather it just operate quietly I do like that it has the loop indicator so I know when the line is in use but I guess it'd be more useful if you had multiple users of the line. For me, it really makes no difference. I know the line's in use because I'm using it. No one else uses the line, so um, it's not super practical, but it's cool to have. Um, so anyways, there's this. I've only had it in service for a handful of days now, but it's been great having it. So I'll give this a couple weeks now and um, do another video on it once I... Uh, have experimented with it more. Goodbye.